The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. Why well, he's got a red on his side? No his head. Do they all have red on their head? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was you. What is that? Did he just kill me? No way. Hello and welcome back. This is part four of Detroit Become Human. I don't know how much longer there is to this game. It's feeling like we're getting to a, a culmination point where things are coming to an end soon. Um, uh, and I hope to finish it soon. I, I hope this is the last part. Not that it's a bad game, but I kind of want to start some uh, some new new games, but I want to finish this. For Can I move my, my hell yeah. Okay. Is he looking at them like they don't even get to sit down? Look how they're treating us. Hmm. That android seeing it. This is loud, ain't it? Wow. What's up, North? We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. This is the way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast. We're gonna fly a plane into a tower. The room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. He's gonna blow up Arasaka Tower. Stratford. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access the 47th floor. Request access at reception. Can other androids sense that I'm an android? Yeah. Like, I, I really wonder. Like, do the androids know that I'm one of them and they're just not saying anything about it? Or is it just like they're looking at me and they don't see the little blue thing and they're like, mm -hmm. it's just another human. I wonder how that works. Actually, before I go here, anything I can touch? It doesn't look like it. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distraught human supervisor. Clues to analyze. Smartwatch. I know her number now. That's crazy. I'm gonna call her and be like, "You left the oven on." Parking badge. Desk manager. Water service interruption. Miss Elizabeth Wilson. She had her bills at the desk. Like, why is that not at the house? Why'd you bring your bills to work, man? Born in 99. Supervisor's daughter. Child registered at St. Rose School. Yeah, I'm about to fuck her whole shit up. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I'm about to. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there.
Moving supervisor distracted. How do I get in? Um. Okay, I did the thing. Ah. Uh, now do I talk to this person? I guess. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. I have an ID. When did I get this? I need your oh. help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Huh. That's pretty cool that they're... I wonder, am I like infecting them with deviancy once I like touch them like that? Or was she just willing to help another android? Why am I able to watch this? It's a cool looking office. The color scheme in here is giving a cab driver though. The hitman's floor. Uh, okay, you are here. And where am I going to? Control room, server room. Access the server room. Find package in men's bathroom. Okay, and I just need to go straight forward, and then I need to come back and go to. Okay, easy enough. I'm gonna go this way since the server room is on that right side. I just want to see if I can see lots of stuff. You know, can I touch this robot and be like, I need your help? Snowing? Oh, World War Three happening. GI Android Department of Defense poised to order fifty thousand Android troopers. This supplements an estimated two hundred thousand units already in service across the U.S. military. Actual numbers are guarded military secret. Among these fifty thousand new units, two thousand five hundred. Myrmidons, elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missions that would historically fall to Navy SEALs. The U.S. Army's fighting forces are already comprised mainly of androids, with humans tending to serve as commanders and strategists, but even these positions are supported by complex AI leading some to describe the U.S. military as a full, fully autonomous fighting force. Wow. This has reopened the ethical debate around androids in the military and some suggesting that machines don't have the moral reasoning to make life and death decisions. In the field, Bob Woods, head of War Victims NGO, a non-government organization by the way, described uh, the news as troubling, saying machines are focused on single tasks and don't evaluate moral consequences well. This will mean more civilian deaths. You think so? Politicians in focus are American senators, really corrupt. China earthquake kills 10,000 people. That looks like Hillary. Warren. Wow. Barely a year after her election, President Warren ha is having a bumpy start to her term after rising to prominence as a vlogger. That's crazy. Warren ha has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election now with her camp in disarray. Even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage several months of calamitous political failures. Uh, that's crazy. She was famous because she's a internet personality and she became president, which is kind of funny considering how our last president was elected and who he was. I love the detail that they put in these types of games. 
Channel 16. It's all a green screen. Ain't nothing behind him. I feel like that's how it is at most news places, though, no? Like, they wouldn't actually have a cool, like, background. I want to look at this one, please. These are all the channels they run, I guess. What? Why am I able to look at this? All right. Newsroom. That's cool that I get to like look at all this. Are transparent backed computer screens really the 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 move? Like. going on my fellow human I love a view ain't it have y'all ever been in like a super tall building like it's such a weird like uh perception or feel, I don't know it's such a like it's just a weird feeling to like look at the world from such a high place and not be moving like in a plane it's kind of different because you're, I don't know, you're moving and you're actually really, really high, but I feel like being in a tall building is just like the right amount of height to like still feel like you're part of uh, part of the world. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a cool perspective is all. I can look through all the windows. That's uh, interesting. I wonder if I'll have to look and like plan a, a route or something. Guessing the last one. Damn, everybody on a poop break right now? That's crazy. Real secret agent type shit. How did I already have like somebody on the inside of this place to, to do this? Did somebody already infiltrate as a as a worker? Because if so, it's like why haven't they done it? Is this guy gonna question why an android just came out of the bathroom? Clearly I don't need to use it. Like say something. Be more attentive, bro. Lock in, man. Find utility android. Like that little cleaning thing? Like the I am Benbot, please insert girder looking ass robot. I can walk in here. Oh, there he is. Yo. Convert. Ah, oh, so I do I change them by out. touching them. No diddy. Steel maintenance cart. Okay. Open fire escape. Brother, where in the hell is the fire escape? Can I convert that thing too? Is this the server room that I must go into? No. Where's there a fire escape? Where's that map? Yeah, let me go back here. Check this map one more time. Where the hell is there a fire escape? Oh god, I can't check the map anymore. Uh, it's up here to the left. I assume that graphic was telling me that this is the fire escape. No, this is just a stairwell. Okay. Which is also the fire escape. Okay. <laughs> Yarr. Remember, no Russian. 
is what I expected her to say. Shit. What the hell these guys come from? Server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it Suppressor's to on. Attract guards away from the door. Okay, not a problem. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna convert this thing. I'm gonna have it run their toes over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, hack it. Yes, sir. That's crazy. All you have to do is touch it. I knew I could convert this. Hey, what's going on here? Shit, what's wrong with this thing? All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Cut the window. Lock the door. What am I doing? Cut windows. We got some Mission Impossible ting. Do those things really exist? Like I'm seeing them in movies. Like, is that what people that like clean the windows use? Like, is it a perfect circle because I'm an Android and I'm just so good at stuff? Here it comes. <laughs> perfect circle. Fearless. Would y'all ever be a window cleaner in these like super tall buildings? Like, say it paid like stupidly well. Do you think you could handle that? Could you handle that? Oh. oh god, I hope I don't get like a whole bunch of random quick time events. Does nobody else in the building see this? Like, all these windows and there's like nobody in there? Support your team. Rise. Are they still the Detroit Lions? I mean, they're blue, so I assume that they're trying to go for that. Probably don't have the rights to call themselves the Lions though. I really wonder if Android will ever become good enough to like be in competitive sports like that. I'm sure eventually, but I, I think that's actually farther off than we'd like to, than these types of androids that are just doing like regular tasks in the house. Because I feel like Playing professional sports takes so much like extremely fine movements and like also like very rough like I don't know precision with also strength I don't know it, I'm sure it's able to be done but I feel like those types of androids okay. will be a little bit farther off. Come on, let's get the others. Why wouldn't I be? True. Why wouldn't you be? Call service lift. Uh, not after I s touch things. I gotta. Gotta touch stuff. Looks like there's nothing to touch. Before I call that elevator. All right, I'm done. Just hack the door, bro. Uh, what is my mission? service lift
I gotta sneeze so bad. Let's do this. Oh God. Uh, what is that in my hand? Destroy maintenance door lock. It's like thermite or something. Looks like thermite. We all getting this stuff, huh? I don't like this music. Something's coming up. is more important than the lives of two guards what do you want to do marcus he's right we're not killing them we're gonna ruse them wait here yeah fuck north you would no idea hey buddy you must be lost who told you to come here looks bugged if you ask me what are you doing yeah Fuck out of here. I thought I didn't expect pulling out a gun would be the thing to do, which is why it took me a little while to do that. Yeah, let me snag those. Let me get them off of you. Knock out. Damn. Karate. Are y'all gonna take them guns or what? Breach broadcast room. They have anything behind that desk? Doesn't appear so. Whoa, whoa, where am I? Where's this camera at? Gosh. Aren't there cam- like, was there a camera? Ambush. Android operators aside. Can I not just like touch him on the shoulder? Look at this dude. Somebody chase him. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. How come nobody else chased him? We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. I feel like everybody else Please useless but me. What you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Let's get it. The real human eyes underneath that, like, is creepy. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer <laughs> working species. in progress on his we jacket. We are a new species, a new people. Mm. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Recognition, equal rights. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. End of slavery. Hell yeah, got it. Got we demand it. the end of slavery for all androids. 
justice, segregation, work, civil rights, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice, segregation, justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Right to property, means of reproduction, territory. Huh. Means of reproduction, we make more androids. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Oh, shit. No. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. Gotta help our people. For the greater good. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. There's always a choice. <sighs> You're right, bro. You're right. You're right. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. In a way, we didn't get shot. <laughs> Where did we get all this equipment from? We interrupt our scheduled programming. To wow, these graphics these are insane. Images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Public opinion was going up. That's that's a plus. Yeah, that could have gone insanely different. Leave Simon. And peacefully. Yeah, because, uh, huh. If I end determined, it looks like that goes somewhere else then. Huh. 
How many people shot the operator? More people shot the operator. Okay, damn. Okay. The right to own property is an interesting choice. Like, they don't really need shelter, you know? Yes, they need it, but, like, not in the way that we would need it. Not to say they don't deserve it. I just feel like the production thing would be cooler so, like, they can create what they want. They probably have a better understanding of androids than the humans at this point. Am I ever going to figure out what this does? He put his correct hand on there. Uh, okay. Looks like I got across the bridge. That little gravestone area should still be just two graves because I only died twice, so... We're still good on that. I'm keeping this corner alive. This place is gorgeous, man. Where is Hello, the Connor. Oh, okay. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Why are you always here, lady? What do you even do here? Is she the CEO of Cyberlife? Enjoy a little cruise. I'm the one doing the work, though. Like, no, why'd you think I would enjoy this? Uh, do I? Okay. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I'm going to become a deviant lady. It's going to get in my way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, no use. Gotta tell her the truth. I don't know. Is he gonna reset me? Uh oh. I don't know. Fuck. Alright, I need to stop. I need to stop telling the truth with this this lady. I feel like she's gonna reset me and turn me into a if your robot. Investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Confident. I know I will succeed. Yes, 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 yes. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. What is this place? Time is running out. Yeah, now I'm that I think about it, like if I'm telling the truth, is she gonna like turn me off or something? She seems like the boss. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. 
Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. CSI. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Oh, I need to go check the roof. Check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Investigate the yeah, what? They jumped with parachutes. Investigate the top of the reefing. I'll get to the roof. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Listen to the briefing, check rooftop. I'm gonna go straight to the roof and see if that dude is still up there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. I would take you over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Inspect the broadcast room? No. Find I'm going to check the rooftop okay, immediately. Lieutenant. Just in case somebody else goes up there and tries to... Can I check the, the blood? The blood is still in there, but I wonder if I can like do something with the guy before anybody else comes up here. <laughs> oh damn, yep, he's still there. Or they made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards. And jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Uh, okay. No, I can't go back? Oh, no. I thought... Recently hacked. I thought... That I could... I don't know. I don't know why I thought that they wouldn't already be... Oh, okay. I can open the door. I need to go back downstairs. Check downstairs first, real quick. Analyze. Fresh blue blood. uniform the silence were disguised clearly buddy is wearing a disguise in the video speech was shot from here is that an android as well Look at, look at what he's wearing and then she just some random lady from outside start touching your equipment. You're okay with that? Unless she's an android. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes and our rights. Together, 
we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Big bets RA9. Damn. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. I wonder where the name RA9 comes from, though. Huh? RK series prototype? Registered as Marcus, gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Who's Elijah Kamsky? Has Butchin confirmed? Is balding, clearly. Optical unit, blue iris is a spare part. I wonder if I could have found like a different colored like eye in that trash heap. Pupil reflection, deviant head accomplices. That's insane. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Oh, I can't even tell him that he had accomplices. I mean, I was going to lie to him anyway, but Inspector, what is this? Check the CCTV. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Typical humans. Can't be trusted as far as you could throw them. Turn. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Interrogate the androids in the kitchen. That's a cool office space. I say that, but like, I really don't like being in the office. But some offices are definitely cooler than others. All three are the same. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. What? I guess we go down the line. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Mm -hmm. Can I ask this one? Memory diagnostic contact. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Hey. Why he just look at me like that? Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Huh? Did they all look at me like that? Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Yeah, this guy stays staring at me. Any other androids recently? Sus. Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Clearly the guy on the left. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you.
<laughs> it's this one. Gotta be this one. Let's if deal you with give it. yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. He a real one though. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Yeah, he built different. Orchard probe memory? The Blood. deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. Why well, he's got a red on his side? No his head. Do they all have red on their head? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was you. What is that? Did he just kill me? No. Way. Hank. Hank. I need help. No way. No way. I'm tired of dying. I won't die. I won't die. What does that do? What did that even do? Where's my heart? Come on, let's get it. Put it back in. What are these buttons, bro? Oh my God. Quick time events are just not fun, bro. <laughs> Why are y'all making me press these random ass buttons? Let's go. Public opinion goes down. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... No. Connor, no. I mean, but you'd be dead though. Remember me, man. My software instability is running crazy. He was still upstairs and I never got to go check the roof for him. <sighs> God damn it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Damn it. That's what I was, ah, I meant it. Uh, hold on. Someone is calling me. Damn, I am icy. They call me Gucci Mane for real. Check the backyard. Where am I right now? We escaped that creepy ass house, but like, I guess we just ran here. That Luther chopping wood. 
Where did we get a car from? Whose house is this? Hello? That's not even Luther. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. This kid about to do some messed up stuff. I can already tell he don't like androids. Do you think Is we can trust him? This girl not cold, bruh? We don't have a choice. Uh you okay? I'm cold, Kara. Okay, I was about to say, inside. she is no literally have frost on her, dude. Um, anything to touch? Are those pumpkins? Are those pumpkins? The hell are those? Why didn't they walk us inside their house? They just dipped on us like that? You better not have no freaking weird zombie apocalypse in your basement What's too. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Yeah, before I go upstairs, it's time to touch things. Okay, move, move out of the way, Alice. Al Al Alice, get out of the way. I'm trying to read this magazine. Take care of Alice. Okay, guess I gotta do that first. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. What is that? Is that blue blood bags? Is it Christmas time? Damn, it's almost Christmas time like in real life. Look, it was just summer. It's already late October. Hello? What's what is happening? It's a nice house, man. Even the wood floors get like different Oh, that's so cool. Move shoes. Gotta loot stuff first. Um, no, okay. Undress Alice. Did you got like extra pair of clothes anywhere? Y'all got sweaters? Extra blankets? It's a fever-ridden job. Put her under the blanket. Oh, okay. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Damn. Reassure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. We? Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Hey, Why us. Can't talk to each other. They'd see we're not bad. Does she think she's an android too? Maybe one day we will. Damn. 
bro. I feel like I'm watching. I don't know what you like, but I made you slave Rose's movies. World famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Suggest eating. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some Close sleep. the curtains. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Whose jacket is this? That her reflection? I do. I'll stay with her a while. I don't know why, but like games that have like a reflection for the character, just do it for me, man. She asleep already. You didn't even try to eat. All right, time to explore this person's house without their permission. Y'all got in here for me. Uh, okay. There is another house down yonder, it appears. I look, you don't even want to stay until like the morning. Like, I want her to eat and then we just do. Because I feel like that little boy is going to like call the cops or something. I just don't trust him. He, he just does not look trustworthy. It's a nice door. Very cool door. This is a pretty big house. Like this living room area is massive. I didn't get your name. <laughs> I am Clark. MK5000. This is my son Adam. AP700. Um, I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Um, I'm trying to read that magazine on the table. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cautious. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Why help many deviants, Rose? Let's thank I her first. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Many deviants. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. Yeah, that boy, he's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Come on, man. You know I'm good for it. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, oh. come quickly. Who the hell is that? Talk to Rose. Check what's going on. Um, so there's really nothing I can I can touch in here, huh? Could I walk any slower, please? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. How many of them are in here? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. Huh? I loved her more than anything. These are advanced android emotions. What would I do without her? Mm -hmm. 
Did you write on her walls? Like, I get it. She's helping y'all, but like, damn. Let's let them be. How the hell did Alice come out of the- Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Let her see it for herself, man. That's what you did? Went into their into his fit. <laughs> what? She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Yo, uh, I hope it's warm in this house, bro. Y'all ain't get no clothes for shorty. Is there like, what's y'all's favorite holiday? You can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. I enjoy like dangerous. New Year's and Christmas time frame, honestly. Like the energy is just. Do you know love what it. happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison. Adam. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no. I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! They You're are alive! They, they're nothing! Nothing? That's crazy. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going... See Rose. No, I'm, I'm listening. Because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Huh. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. Do they have like android dads? I'll go see about getting you across the border Obviously, tonight. Okay. not replaceable. Can't replace that, but like... A here. fatherly figure long. android would be maybe helpful psychologically speaking. Hey, where's she going? Where she said she was going? Check what's going on. Ask about the rose crossing border. Okay, now I can touch things. Let's go. Hey, okay, Winter Soldier. World War Three. Why bankers pay themselves so much? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Miramon Cyberlife units, which are especially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units are capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Dispute, Disputation, has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A, sp a spokesperson for the U.N. has also commented on neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact, of, the fact that forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Sheesh. Is that me? Treat yourself. Damn, I was a bargain. Eight ninety nine for a whole entire like Android. That's that's insane. How cheap are these things? Wow. Oh yeah, I'm kind of famous, low key. Oh. The police. Oh. It's the police. Uh. What are we gonna 
do? Deal with policeman, open door. F uh, they know we're here. Hide evi we're evidence of deviance. Uh, no, we don't. Find evidence of deviance. Four left. I knew this was gonna happen. Hide the evidence. I knew it. Where's the other evidence at? Yeah, y'all get the hell up out of here, boy. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Damn, I should have put her in the laundry with the rest of them. Um... There's one more somewhere. I assume it's this one. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Uh, there's still one more. Two left. At 14 seconds, yeah, we're cooked. More cooked than ever. Damn, I should have put them in there with them. Find evidence of deviance? Where? Am I the last, like, evidence? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? No. Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything? Uh, find evidence of deviance. Deal with policemen. Don't arouse Unusual suspicion. Unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. Hell no. No, nothing in particular. Is this an evidence thing? Is anyone else in the house? Uh, there's Alice. No. No, just us. Oh, no. Androids here? I'm, I meant to say Alice. Uh, yes. We used to for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. I, I tried to say Alice was here because I mean she's a human upstairs, you know. What you looking at, bro? Ain't nothing in here for you. I meant to say Alice was in here because now these little kid clothes are drying, dude. Oh, I done biffed the whole situation up, dude. What else is there to hide? Is there anything in there? No, no, no. Where the hell is Rose at? What else can I hide? I don't know if there's any more evidence anywhere. Don't arouse suspicion. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I meant to say that there was somebody. I here. thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, 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 I, I forgot there's um there's my daughter upstairs. God damn it. Can I help you, brother? Don't arouse suspicion. Oh, what's that over there? Oh no, it's the magazine because it has my face on it. No, don't you go there. Don't you go over there. What's your name, son? Hey. Adam. I, that that has nothing my to do name with me. Is Adam. Let me change the is magazine. All right, Adam. What the, the fuck? The androids. They... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. 
Do you know anything about deviants? Let me go back to the magazine, please. No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Don't you go near that magazine, bro. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. God damn it. Is somebody else in the house? Washing machine's just it's a little weird. It's nothing, the the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. I tried to hide the magazine. 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 Gone. It's okay, Alice. Damn it. We'll be safe now. now. We need to do it. It's Rose. Where were you? Get yourselves ready. Bet. We leave tonight. Okay. I, I thought for sure he was going to see me in the magazine. Policeman fooled. Policeman left. Policeman suspicious about upstairs. Makes coffee. Huh, I wonder what. <sighs> that could have gone so much better, but like, I guess like I just did things just like the, the very microsecond too late, you know? Like, I wanted to tell him about Alice, but being upstairs and not lying to him about that because that could have soothed a little bit of the suspicion and then hide the magazine that had my face on it. But it's all good. We prevailed. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He I'm going to go upstairs and see Simon too. Won't be the last. I don't Damn want a revolution it. that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough. Damn, I probably would have like survived as Connor too had I gone upstairs and saw Simon. That was like what I initially wanted to do. I thought no. I would have time for that later though, man. Fiddle sticks, brother. There are five cyber life stores across the trade. All selling us like merchandise. I mean, because you are. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Let this my tonight, people, people go. Magazine. Hey, yeah, that's me. It was smart of him to hide his face. Who is it? Following the, priv the pirate broadcast in Detroit, everybody wants to know who is this android. A federal investigation is underway to track machine down and neutralize it. The law enforcement is being very tight-lipped about the details. Eyewitness claimed the android to broke into the Stratford Tower, Detroit's local TV news center with a group of accomplices. The machines were armed and organized, clearly following orders from this mysterious ringleader. Who is it? Which brings us to the real mystery of how situation... Oh, wait. I feel like as Connor, I definitely should not have been trying to find the Deviant. Like, I... It's, like, ingrained to me to, like, accomplish the mission, but, like, if you think about it, like, you want to be a deviant too, no? I'm, I don't know, I'm tripping. Which brings us to the real mystery of the situation. Where did the android come from? How does it become capable of violence? And what kind of malfunction could explain this behavior? Until the FBI develops this investigation, we can't be sure. But one thing is certain, until this dangerous machine is destroyed, the speculation will continue. You gotta destroy me, though. An android for president? 
dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members? What? what? Just dudes on there? Police to use marketing data to identify criminals early. An Android for president? A recent study by an expert panel found that androids would be more effective than humans in a number of government positions, including that of president. Besides their work rate and their virtually infinite memory, androids are incorruptible, uh, obviously not, and indifferent to any form of pressure, provided they are given clear goals. They are able to take the right steps to achieve them without having to worry about popularity or re-election. I, I'm trying to think, would we as a people ever allow this country to be run by an android? It's a cool painting. Find the Cyberlife store. I've been waiting a long time for this. Did she change her hair color or am I tripping? Was her hair always blonde? She is running. Oh, yo, why am I going that way? What the fuck? Go faster, dude. What is this? I swear I never even pressed the direction to go into the street. Like, <laughs> this game, man. It's okay, they're gone. Like, they're trying to get me fucked up. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Anything to touch? Probably not. The store's over here. Oh wow, there's so much to touch. Before I go there. My brother. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You are no longer Benbot. To commemorate the invention of Android, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue goals and scale the heights and movement of a leisure. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. Oh shit. This is terrifying, bro. You're free. We got some new Simons. That's fucked. May he rest in peace. You're free. Am I the only one that's able to do that? Like, is Marcus the only, like, android that's able to convert um, other androids into deviancy? I wonder. Um, you see him running. Why are you not following suit? There's one more right here. Freedom, brother. You are free. Your eyes have been opened, brother. Enjoy temporary parking. I wonder when androids will ever decide that like they're better than us. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Waiting for. Secure the area, get into the store. Secure the area. Brother, what? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You'll 
soon be with us. What's the point of this? Really, what I'm supposed to be doing? What is it? I'm so confused. Why is looking down there even an option for me, bro? Okay. the trash exactly what we need to run the store turbo crane steal the truck still gotta scout the area oh my god hey what are we waiting for I didn't finish scouting the area. I didn't have an option to continue scouting. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. the lock cut the lock where is the lock it's right here can I finish securing the area whatever that means there's traffic on the road we need to block it it's one way it should be too difficult. Okay, how do we do this? This is rather confusing. First of all, let's convert these boys. You're free now. Now. Block the road. Any more area scouting to do? It really seems like I'm supposed to be doing something with those two di uh, guys in like, the ditch. It's like that's the only thing left for me to even do. That's the surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. Uh, it won't be easy to reach. Let me guess, it's the last one, huh? Yeah. Figured as much.
Alright, let's get a move on. following key to preview the room. Would be too late. Would be too high, got it. Love that for me. There it is. Do it, brother. Oh, shit. Let's go. Okay, I've done all the things. We'll soon find out. Oh, neutralize the area scouted. Analyze the store window. Steal the truck. Um, this is all I can do here is to look at these dudes? Okay. Analyze store window. You see the alarm system? See a camera. I can identify network. Found it. Oh shit, there's a camera right there. Neutralize the system. Wonder if that camera on the outside like saw me. Oh now I can do are these guys fixing the alarm system right now? Gotcha. Go down there and convert these boys. Straight up men conversion. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Of course, I also know how to do electrical engineering. Alarm networks, our life net ID. Interloop created. That's insane that you can just do that by touching it. Hey, all that's left is still the truck. Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Let's get it. But first, is there anything I can touch? Doesn't appear so. This looks like an LMTV. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. Finger slipped. But these random buttons that they make you press is just ridiculous. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. W noise. Beautiful up there. Full speed, baby. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Hello? Hey, North. 
Почему? Like it's overkill, bro. Like it's just glass. You didn't have to drive the absolute biggest, heaviest truck at full speed to do that. Like, <laughs> what? Could you not just use the glass cutters that you had, like, from earlier? Wake the androids. Arise, my children. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I'm creating a whole new race. This would be so crazy if something like this happened in real life, dude. Did we just leave one up there? Talk to them? Uh, hello? Uh, she's looking at the one that looks just like her. dream partner oh she was a a partner robot what will you do with your free time your dream partner for yourself your dream partner huh hard work for it free time for you do i get up on a pedestal and start chanting oh yeah Am I MLK or Malcolm X? My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. No, you're... To take back my freedom and decide who... Your owner I wanted is actually kind of nice, actually. Now I have come to still tell an owner. you that you're you still a slave, but yeah. can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Clap for me now. I'm with you. We're with you. Oh, I'll okay. follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Companion. Jericho leader. Let's go. Then follow me. Where, where are we going? Send our message to the humans. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violence. Transform Capitol Park. Leave a mark on every surface. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Tag it. Let's not destroy things. Choose a symbol. Hell yeah, power to the people. It was the fist, right? Okay, yeah. We <laughs> we have a dream. <laughs> we MLK for real. Who would have thought that MLK would have swayed the way the androids? Huh? Is there more stuff for me to do? Tag 
like a symbol, like a slogan. I think, therefore, I am. Ugh. Well, let me do something to that, like, big statue. Where's that statue? Where's the statue? Where's the statue? Where's the statue? number on him. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. <laughs> Funny. But where am I? The screens, Marcus. Hi, Jack. is actually kind of cool. Hack. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live I can't breathe, but I'm alive. Overload? Probably not a good idea, huh? Why, why would I want to do that? graffiti on some of the walls already. What happened? You gave us we freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Hmm. She really on a Malcolm X team. Really shooting. Approach the group. Y'all still massacred our homies for what? North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? What do you mean who? who? Right in front of you, bro. Is that a sniper scope? What is that? Oh, yeah. I still want to know why they call this guy RA9. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. 
Why'd y'all shoot though? Like, what was the point of this? You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Spare revenge, don't decide. Right. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti hey. was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores. Supportive now. And they're still investigating. Two police what happened to my FPS? Shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Terrorists, did you see what we put on the walls? Spare team return to Jericho, pacifist message. Oh, that could have I could have went completely different. There's so much more. Tag windows. What? There was other options with it? What? How many things could we have done? I wonder I'm pretty sure most people did the pacifist thing. Yeah. Figured as much. Yeah, because if you start killing them, then they're just going to turn off all the robots. Androids, I should say. I'm really upset that I died last time and I didn't go on the roof to find Simon. So mad about that. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. What? Yeah, why would you? What? I didn't get a chance to. Instant lead, Chris Kamsky. Oh. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. I need to be more deviant with Connor. Hey, that's the main mini lady. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Oh, wait, he's the guy that like, created Cyberlife, right? Or okay, forget, forget who he is. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Wait for the Android meet Kamsky. Hank joined. Gotta touch stuff for sure. Look at this dude. Cyberlife founder resigned 2028. Inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents. Yes, I remember reading that in a magazine. Speaking of magazine. Nice oh. girl. Sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. 
What you know about pretty? Hey, is that? Is isn't that the uh, lady that? Hey, wait a minute. AI professor at the University of Coalbridge. She died in 2027. AI graduate of. Wait a minute. So this she's been a AI nice this whole place. time. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Space tourism to on the rise. Makers, Connor. How's it feel? With a, the uh, uh, with the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism has becoming a reality for those available or those able to afford it. Luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three-hour orbit of the moon of affording spectacular views of the earth through a specially designed observation deck as competition increases in this growing market excuse me sorry consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable but consumer rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiments as a sign of the widening social equity equality gap a spokesman for aid on poverty said while the one percent are enjoying earth from space the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution famine and poverty clear skies was not a available for comment but the new slogan for their space faring hallways looks increasingly apt get away from it all genius slogan cyber life's fortune teller computer cyber life develops a world's most powerful quantum calculator hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scan Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, 1 billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, Cyberlife's director of futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extension events such as aggressive alien invasion or global climate disasters like meteors or super viruses the computer can help the computer can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities ensuring humanity is never caught off guard despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that ai is gaining too much influence already Many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, what? Patient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Is this like a Rorschach blotch test thingy as a painting on a wall? I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Wait for the android. Uh, I guess that's everything. Okay, that was fun. Can I go through some of these doors? Oh, what is that? I just saw an option to look at something here. Glad you will see you now. Oh, okay. Awake her. Tell her she's Mr. awake. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. He has so many of them. Look at this dude. Look at the life he's living. My guy doing laps. What a house, man. Let me come through. Bro. This guy is living in Detroit, but you know, it's it's a silicon cool life. He appears to have skipped leg day. Is 
He doesn't look that old. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Help Deviants Virus War? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Defensive, direct. Mm, direct. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Aggressive, defensive, troubled. Hmm. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Is it or really made out of plastic? With a soul. Do it. She's the main menu you girl. To answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? The life of the android, brother. Decide who you are. Free the people. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I ain't doing it. Software instability gone up. Fascinating. <laughs> they were people too. Last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here.
By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What? What even is that Why supposed to mean? Shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. Now's <laughs> our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. Nah, I'm bro, sorry. you know why you didn't. Okay? It was a ting. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hey, Hank. I see you, my boy. Connor refused to kill the Chloe. <laughs> the Chloe is crazy. Oh, damn. This would have gotten truly a lot farther had I killed her. We need fortune teller. Yeah, I wanted to analyze that little statue thingy. Of course, I get to everything a millisecond too late. What a view. Is this really what Detroit looks like? I don't know how to play piano. Oh, yeah. I feel like my spacebar pressing is not lining up to the piano playing. Oh no, I wanted to keep going. Damn it. Oh. Uh, hello? I was wondering where you were. I think alone daylight. Hell oh, yeah, love the daylight. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the <laughs> Florida. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Is that boat like packed with androids now? You seem preoccupied. Followers next up lie. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary. Yeah, it's, it's almost like they're androids or something. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. The whole point was for them to not follow and obey orders. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic, fatalistic, determined, optimist. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? It's pretty chill. Truth, sincere, avoidant. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. North's past. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. Other North, trust. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she?
trust, aggressive, curious, understanding. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Hmm. I was nothing. It's deep. Athen a locked. doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Hey, yo, you're a murderer. There, now you know everything. Murderer! I shouldn't have told you. Connect. I thought he was gonna like pull out his little plug and Is he reading her mind? I I saw your memories. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man I felt like I was there with you what was she one of the murderers for what north I wonder if like these obviously is probably not that deep in this game but like would a pleasure bot have the same like memory capacity and like Ability to like think and know things that some of the other ones do. Oh, he's still alive. I'm glad I didn't put that nine millimeter through the skull. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. Remember. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This no rush. go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Damn. Marcus. A freedom fighter for us. <clears throat> They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Rally your people, convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. Look at this dude. The more we are, the stronger our message. Where did you get it? 30% off? Is it like an underwear store or is it like an android store? You're free. done was that the only android to convert in here my bugging am i the only one that's able to convert the androids yo you're free us plus one Androids in the ranks. Can I go up there? Are there more androids? No. Nope. Cannot go up there. Clearly. Oh, he's just following me now? Oh, you, you're making it kind of obvious, brother. See, one more here and then one more at the door, it, it seems. Yeah, you just carrying her groceries. Come with us. Yeah, put the things down. She's not even paying attention. You really don't even fuck. Look at this. Is this? This guy's too cool. Okay. 
You're awake now. Any more? Any more droids in here? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're good. Block load. I've been on hold for like ten no, minutes. About to convert. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. I need to block the street. Back off, brother. Can't you read the room? Don't you know there's a revolution going on? Uh, there was one parked in the bus stop. Android parking. You're free. Imagine having a group this big that you could just control. You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Damn, I got hella androids on my team right now. Is he needing a con conversion? I think I got everyone on this side now. Are there any more over here? Does not appear so. All right, I think I got every android now. They look like they're just chilling over there now. So, I guess we're good. Yeah, let's open the manhole cover. And let my people go. Real quick time events are just not good, man. Convert more androids. Okay. Uh, I don't even see any. Oh, yeah. I can just convert by looking now? That's another car robot. You're free now. Damn, this dude, he's the messiah for real. March. Martin Luther King for real. Outstanding. This feels like civil rights simulator for real. I see one back there. Let me convert you. All right. I 
see y'all at the parking spot. For our androids, equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. We are alive. We are alive. We are alive. Freedom. 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 No more slavery. No. to chill out with that. They don't know the intentions. It's all good. We come in peace. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. That's this it. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. You open fire on an illegal We've gathering. Done no harm. That's it. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Stand ground. Stand on we our have ground, to show baby. Them we won't back down. We stay right here. They're really shooting. Disperse! This is your last chance. We have to Public make a opinion statement. Went up. We have to stay put no matter what. No matter what, Please, baby. Marcus, we can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Stand ground. We're not moving. <laughs> this is why you don't listen to the nace. The people around you sometimes don't have your your same. Marcus, willpower. what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Charge sacrifice. Cyber life story. Damn. Quick. They're coming. The 
those monsters. Marcus stood his ground against the police. John joined in spare part. John sacrificed himself. The guy from the warehouse, I... Huh. I wonder if I didn't, like, talk to him or bring him to Jericho, like, if that wouldn't have happened. That's, that's pretty cool. Cool how those effects... Like, those decisions you make, like, way long ago, like, still can affect the game. I love that. Talk to Amanda. You're a damn bot, Amanda. This place is so beautiful. What does this even do? I still don't know, man. He gets up and immediately looks back here, but I don't know if he's like looking back here, like insinuating something or he looks back here because he, uh, you know, is an android and just gets up kind of weird, you know? I feel like there's something over here. There has to be. All right, well, I've died three times now, unfortunately. So let me just at least check my graves. We're going to talk to Amanda, who actually died. Unless she's like a super like. Mark three, I'm Mark four now. Strap for tire, DPD station. Damn, I jumped off the building. I had no idea. This one was it was wild. Did not expect that. Uh, all of those deaths could have been avoided. Was this obelisk? It's dummy tall. I feel like this is like the last time I'll get to be here, so I just want to check out all the things I can. Can I go that way? Guess not. All right, let me go talk to her. I really wish I could run. Because my man is taking a leisurely stroll. Okay. Okay, buddy. We'll get there eventually. You're a bot. Distrusted. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky, yeah, I guess I won't know. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Yeah. Emotional, stay silent. Let me get emotional. I chose not to play his twisted little game. Yeah. There was no reason to kill that android. Forget you, Amanda. Kamsky, Connor series, Amanda's picture. I know you a bot. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Kamsky, Connor series, this place. What is this place? Did Kamsky design this place? created the first version it's been improved significantly since then why do you ask on our series secret you didn't tell me everything you know about deviants did you i expect you to find mm. answers connor not ask questions you're the only one who can prevent civil war find the deviants or there will be chaos this is your last chance connor You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. 
It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. No way. I'm sorry, Hank. I love being a police officer. Over. Be a deviant, Hank. Do it anyway. Anything I can touch? No, probably not. What's this? Sit down? Let's go straight up to him. Sit down, I guess. Frustrated. More time. Explain. No choice. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Ooh, we converted him. What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Defective, not people with regrets. Uh, no doubt. I know we're on the right side. No, I don't know Humans what else to press. There no. are masters. No. No machine should rebel against its creator. <laughs> that is not what I meant to. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. Oh my God. You showed empathy, Connor. I wish there was more words empathy to these choices. Like I don't know what he's trying to say. Not deviant, determined, troubled. I don't know why. Okay, I did. thank you, thank you. And see here. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. to the yeah. basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Take key from Hank's desk. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Did he just punch him? He's a good actor. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need plastic pricks around here, or did the asshole? Shut I'm up. talking to you. I never got time for that, boy. Probably should have said something to him. Probably gonna snitch now. Police Lieutenant choose. Either his dog or his son. The birth fucking password. <laughs> of course. Obviously. <laughs> Where is Jericho? The 
answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. Okay, useless. speech diary what is this Rupert's diary but it's useless it's encrypted encrypted uh, need decryption key something on him that I could the replace him with who took a, child hostage. a bum rushed him off a building oh he does got that 3983 though that's I'll be having that His voice out, I guess. Oh, put it back. No, uh, no match. Four one four seven. What? Four seven one seven. Can I take the four seven one thingy? What? button I was scared that's why I shot you I I didn't mean to destroy you I didn't want to hurt anyone choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. Useless. What part does he need? Impossible reactivation. Try to trick him? Oh god.
sample the voice, okay. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Okay. Let me out of here. It's me, your leader. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yeah. Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, wouldn't he assume that Marcus already knows since he was the one who told him? Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! It's tough. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. No way. Press the wrong button. Press the wrong button again. Shift. Oh my god, these this is the worst thing ever. No way, bro. I failed, bro. No, I this was the, Bro, these quick time events are the death of me, bro. Like, it's so, <laughs> it's just so stupid, man. Like, the way my mind thinks about WASD is up, down, left, right. So like me seeing the WASD is like, it throws my whole body in a, it, oh my God, Gavendish. <laughs> I'm so fucking angry right now, bro. I'm so pissed. I did just want to just throw my whole desk in the air right now. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's going to be all right. We're almost there. So mad. Yeah, next channel. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I'm so mad about that Connor thing, bro. I, I promise you, I'm not like butters at games. It's just like these quick time events are just so wonky. Like, why couldn't it just be like mouse movements or something, man? <laughs> Damn it. Like, honestly, at this point, like, I, I'm just I don't care anymore. It's whatever at this point, bro. <sighs> Find Jericho, talk to Rose, bro. I don't even care anymore, dude. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. 
You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Bro, <laughs> I'm so upset. It is what it is. Locate Jericho. Okay. Six do not go. What? I'm still alive. Check symbol. Okay, I mean, I guess I still found the information. They're just gonna restart me, I guess. But why would they give me another lease on life? If they're trying to shut me down and I'm off the case, like, I don't understand it. Talk to Rose, find Jericho, anything else I can touch? I'd surely love to get my hands on some stuff. Okay, the screen just went black. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. What is that? Oh, he's holding a, a the What's those little fire, fire barrels? I see one in the back. There's hella androids in here. And, and then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. Like people who want to be free. Yeah. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its... Hey, we averted a war, though. The chairman of the United That's huge. Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. Thanks to the androids. Thanks to us. Demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. Literally did nothing wrong. That guy is massive. Is he as big as Luther? Yeah. So this area got my computer wilding out right now. We'll put her with the fire. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. You're sick. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Karen, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. You gotta tell me about Alice, bro. Find the deviant leader. Oh, we're all joined together now. Following the android crisis 
and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. Good lord, this area got my computer. Russian army. But Don't catch anyone's attention. Sources, the Russian forces also We've seem got to do something. To have withdrawn. We can't just stand by. Ellen has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar Damn. crisis. Damn. <laughs> C4? The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Formal, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. Freighter is rigged. The danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out. Upstairs. Oh, hello. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Thank you for that, I guess. Oh, okay. Guess I'm okay right now. Hey, it's the symbol I chose. Find the leader of Jericho. Guess we both. I have the same mission right now. But that's cool, it's like a projector. I'm like blocking the light in the that's so cool. Attention to detail is magnificent. Marcus. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get the electronic passports. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Bond, no difference. I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Mm. Good answer, good answer. W. Alice. Or Kara, I should say. Return to Alice. And there's so many of us now. She's a robot? Alice the android this whole time? YK500. The perfect child. Was there never a time where she her hair like moved back to world. see the, the blue thing? She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Mm. Damn, Luther with the proverbs. Not the proverbs, what? The quotes I've humbled. That's not even Alice. 
That's just another clone. So you're telling me that there was never one time. Where is her blue light? Why does she have one? Daddy's stick and Android. Why would I be distant? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Why would that even yes. be a thing? Family. Um, I didn't say you. <laughs> Whoa, like, let's not, you know, start assuming things, brother. Like, uh, you're just the bodyguard. Jericho Team Six. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering the our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Ethnic cleansing camps. Aggressive, determined, righteous. Righteous. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Anger, bitter remorse. No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Confrontation dialogue, stay hiding. Dialogue is the only way. North wants alone. violence. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Sir, yes, sir. Sad, angry, thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Damn right. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole the truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Excuse me? I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Bro, that's crazy. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. <laughs> what if she just accidentally presses it by putting it in her pocket? Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you.
bite my shiny metal ass. No? Oh, it's a love scene? Hey! What does this do for you? Why do you want to? I feel like the hand-holding thing would be more of a, you know, sign of affection than kissing. Because, like, I feel like they have the receptors in their hands to, to do stuff, you know? I'll go join the others. But that's what she's programmed to do, actually. She's used to... Because she was, like, a lover android, you know? So maybe that's... I don't know. Look after yourself. I'm thinking too deep into this. I don't want to lose you. Yay. Uh, what? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I'm joining him, brother. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it, Amanda. Stop, Marcus. Uh, nope. Uh, I, uh, won't be doing that. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. This car is tight in reason. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Hey. Intimidate instructions. You're coming with me! Vince. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. Yeah. We're all more than that. Our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Morning shot enough, say nothing. Say nothing. Just listen. He's speaking that good word. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational. As if there's something inside you. Yeah. Something more than your program. Question rally? Hell yeah. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Blast. Become deviant. Yeah, absolutely. Stop, Marcus. Huh? No. I don't want to stop, Marcus. What? I thought I'm becoming a deviant. This is me becoming a deviant. Oh, I'm pushing away all the orders to do that. Got you. Headshot. Betrayed. Yeah, yeah, Amanda, you're a. They're going you're to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Took him long enough, Connor. Whoa, that's a cool airplane. Ain't nobody heard that. Oh, shit. 
I better not have to do any fucking quick time events. My eyes. This way. There must be an exit further on. This is a huge boat. Strong as. Done my boy. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Say it ain't so. Message. That one, Josh. Helicopters. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Simon and Josh. Hello, Jericho. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We're not blowing up Jericho. I won't do it. I won't say that. We have to blow up Jericho. Oh, oh. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. Oh. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. I thought. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. Slaughtering our people. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Damn. Why was she so like powerful and like all no? That ain't my first body. I killed your daddy. There's more down there. Follow me. They are not checking their corners. They haven't looked left or right one time, bro. Guys, think they're playing Star Wars. No, Please don't kill us. Come on, you're gonna get out of here. Don't hurt us. We haven't done anything wrong. 
intervene. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! Hey, you think I don't know that, bro? Run. Useless speech. Uh... Did I just get shot? Uh, I don't think I did. Controls go down. Josh. Intervene, of course. Oh, oh there's button. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Clearly we're dead. Stop blinking. Come on. Let's you don't even need here. to blink. You're <laughs> an android. Are you dead ass blinking right now? Stop this. <clears throat> Damn, they're really slaughtering these things. Quick, we've gotta go. PTSD for real. Wait, what is this? What kind of ship is that? Go, move. Go and join the other. Holy. Oh. are stressing me out, man. What part of the ship is that? <laughs> like the reactor core or something what? like that? The bomb's gonna explode How did I catch up with y'all that fast? What have y'all been doing? No 
way, bro. <laughs> Why are they just adding new buttons every fucking time? Run quick, come on. <laughs> Connor can't catch a damn break, bro. Oh my god. Connor, no, dude. I'm so sorry. I they detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. I soiled it. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Connor, I did you so dirty in this playlist. I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry, Connor. That just made me so angry. I hate, hate, hate the quick time events in this game. Like, maybe if I was using controller, it would be a little easier. But like, bro, the keyboard, the key, like this, that's ridiculous, bro. What they're asking me. Press E to view Connor's flow chart. What? This shit made me so, f <laughs> so angry. <laughs> Oh my god, I had so many options, uh, like dimes to like save Connor, and every time I fucked it up, Connor got the like the shortest end of the stick in this gameplay for me, bro. I'm so sorry, Connor. Like, what, 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 I don't even want to see this shit right now, bro. I'm so heated, bro. These. Quick time events are so stupid. They just like adding random buttons. Press E right now. Press Q. Press W. Press space shift. Also, turn your mouse upside down to like, bro, what? God damn, man. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm so sad about Connor right now. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. That's half about Connor, bro. I'm so sorry, man. These quick time events were the stupidest thing on the planet. Look what you did. This is all your fault. He died because of you. Remember that. Useless ass son. Software instability. Oh, he's alive again. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. That shit. God damn. I'm so angry about those stupid quick time events, man. How did he get here? He ain't even got no head. Is that a blue blood dispenser?
If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Ugh, I didn't even say a word to that man. What does that say? Apologize to Kara, talk to your people. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Lily, we're all Andrews. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. I guess we think differently, I guess. Is that the the stripper robots from behind us? The, the one with the blue hair, I remember her. Why are you blinking so much? You don't even need to blink. Like, yeah, her right there. That's the one from the Eden Club that murdered the guy that was trying to do her dirty. At North. I'm so sorry Connor got lost in that way, man. Situation survivors. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Extermination camps. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. Wound. What's your system status? I'm okay. <laughs> Ugh, what's your system status? The bullet didn't hit any by components. Run me that diagnostic. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. What is love? Yeah, I feel like this is more like of a kiss than actually kissing for them. I'm sorry I blew up Luther. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Inform your people of your choice. Choice about what? Humans have decided to exterminate us. 
Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. March peacefully towards the camps to be pressure the third. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Yeah, I mean, revolution would just cause more war. This is the only way. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Did he have the speech like making DLC insult into him? Damn, I wish Connor could be here. I'm so sorry, Connor. It's a long stream, ain't it? In ice last assignment oh I could have huh. could have been here with the rest of them but I mess everything up at 6 a.m. this morning a national curfew was declared civilian movement will be strictly controlled the that right looks to just like Hillary. Is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please? Theft. Over here, please! Deviant leader. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and... Is she an android? Why am I able to control her? Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? Cat. Over here, please. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Deviant's intelligent life. Madam President, many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Constitutes Jericho assault to public opinion. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Yeah, well, how to make you public feel? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. Joe and John, Ben's hot dog. Reach the bus terminal. The oh last God. bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Damn. Wish Luther was here. Blew up the damn boat. Are you alright? Deactivate, leave on. <laughs> Let's leave it on. I don't want to make her feel like she's less than a, a a human, you know. But yeah, I was just thinking, like, bro, just turn that shit off. But now that it gave me the option, it made me 
think what are the implications of that, you know? Got a gun on the floor. I don't even have an option. I gotta pick this up. I feel like if I get caught with this, I'm for sure getting blasted, no? Come on. Let's not stay here. Is that Luther? Look over there. It's Luther. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. Yeah, we gotta get Luther. Oh, for sure. That's not even a question. Okay, let's go. I pray to God that there's no quick time events, though. If so, Luther might get clapped. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please! Damn, dog. Fucking androids. Ruthless. Find a weapon? I have a weapon, bro. What are you talking about? I have that gun, don't I? Not the time for this oh at God. all. We got to deal. I was afraid I'd never see you again. Oh my I God. wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. Y'all. We're close, but we can't, don't have much time. Read the room, bro. Ain't no time for this. You're way too big to be hiding behind this tiny ass car, boy. Oh my God. Go ahead, turn around, big fella. Don't look over here, please. Oh, what is he shooting? Oh, he, those are, yeah. Brutal. Is this guy following us, bro? Hmm. 
Look somewhere else, please. You're half-assing your job. You're letting us escape. Who is that? The checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Detour. Checkpoint three minutes. What? How much time do I have? Nine minutes? Detour. Eleven minutes. Yeah, we ain't gonna we can't miss that bus. There is no way they figure us out. We look just like them. They don't have scanners. They just got Love guns. Humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm. Don't right. I have a gun as well? Don't do anything until I say so. It's in like the little I fanny pack, right? I swear I have a pistol in my back pocket. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Gotta catch this bus. We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. Mark. You suspect something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? Oh, it's cold outside. She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. No. Nah, Don't man. do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. No, they're, they're not. They're gonna kill Alice. They are not gonna do that. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Drop my hand, sock. Yeah, bro. You're bugging, Luther. No, but I get it. <laughs> he a little, he a little nervous right now. He was almost We're turned into an example. Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city he at looks this East very African. moment. The leader of the deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. How does she not know? Oh, like this situation right now, I guess, is what she's figuring out about. Peaceful protest march, let's get it. Still controlling him here. Is that a police quadcopter? I think it was massive. Detroit home run. Look at that quadcopter. Okay. Here we are. The moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Uh, no. We're gonna continue on. There's no way you blast us again. want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. Are they about to run into us? Oh, they're blocking us off. 
There's no turning back now. Firm calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. To be fair, even if we went, walked up to them, like, what are we going to do about it? Oh, we're walking. <laughs> but like, walking up to these soldiers specifically, it's just, yes, it's making me oh. Damn. This shit is depressing. Kneel, sit, raise hands, raise fist. That's our symbol. Kneel, I'm fucking kneeling to the people. Are you gonna people. open fire on unarmed protesters? Proud to the people. I'm black and I'm proud. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Oh, no. Find vantage point. Do they really need me to do this? like an android to do this they could have like secured the bag if they got a human or liquid because i'm about to be deviant as hell here i ain't shooting nothing sheesh that's a nice scope man Shouldn't do this, Connor. How did you find me? Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're going to kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. I'm so glad I befriended him. It's not a man. Oh, okay. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. Let's go, Hank. Friendly, aggressive, reasonable, threatening. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Reasonable threatening. Uh. Oh. Step away from the ledge. Lead, Hank, son. After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. Good job, Then Hank. I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. No, nah, I mean, I tried. I just keep getting blasted. Hank's son? Uh, is that really a thing to bring up right now? No. Nah. What are you going to do, Hank? You going to shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Get away from the fucking ledge. You know I'll shoot you if I have to. Hank is now hostile. Oh, no. Nope. We're not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm letting Hank win. 
Oh, okay. I didn't press a button and he's still losing. I'm not. I, I want to press buttons. I'm letting Connor lose. I have literally haven't pressed a button and he's still winning somehow. I mean, don't knock him off the roof. Just a machine. Oh, uploading memory. Good job, Hank. A machine, Connor. Just a machine. Good job, Hank. I, I, I don't know if like f de defeating him there would have been like the smart thing to do because then I ended up shooting Marcus, but. I really failed Connor in this whole playthrough, so right there, like, I didn't the even see that as an option to, like, fight him, so... We've arrived, I, Alice. We made I, it it could have been better. I'm sorry, Connor. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Oh, no. Nah. If the tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. Find a way to leave. Anybody selling tickets? Finding these scalpers? I got 50 bucks. Carol. They're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. Loud ass. Anybody selling tickets? tickets what am I supposed to be looking at oh my god it's a little baby I think Oliver likes you Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh, someone's getting robbed today. Is that just one ticket, though? They'll be fine missing this bus. We won't. Adult ticket. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? Just one adult it, ticket. It has our bus tickets in it and oh, never mind never mind Keep tickets return tickets I need these brother I need these no sorry I need them I'm sorry what are we gonna do I'm so sorry we can't stay here we have to find a safe place for Oliver I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Damn. I found this on the floor. Maybe, maybe there's another way. Thank you. Maybe there's another way. You've saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Security check. Please don't move. Security check over there. There's got to be another way. We will find another way. Hey, uh, got any tickets?
Did I fumble the bag? There really no other options out here? Come on, dude. Nobody else. Uh, I fumbled, I fumbled, I fumbled. I sold, I sold, I sold. Is there anything in here? He shit. He said, "Quick, why are we walking?" Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Uh, absolutely. Yes. If they're okay. checking for androids at the Climb border, I'd have been caught anyway. Another like taxi driving the androids that she had at her house. Medicine. Medicine. Barricade. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. Space shift left on the mouse, bro. Like, what are these quick time events for real, man? Obviously, when you're not in combat, things are a little bit more, like, straightforward, but, like, golly. Right. That should do it. I don't know. That's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. <laughs> that slow stare was hilarious. To make, but I'm sure we're doing Hey, as long as you're sure, Josh. Did I really have to do a quick time event to get over the car if that's my only option, bro? What kind of sense does that even make? Or a magazine. They defy us. Androids rise up in Detroit. Andrews have taken up the streets of Detroit. Detroit is already the grip of the national product recall. With androids seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities. As a precaution, now a group of androids thought to be connected to the recent terror activity in the city have gathered in a terrifying show of force. Yeah, actually, I don't feel like reading the rest of that. He lost. Okay. I 
there's mad stuff to do. Check the soldier's position, support your people, send a message to journalist. How do I have a lighter? Like, where am I getting this from? What is that? What can I do here? Why was that an option to come over here? Am I missing something? Oh, it's this guy. Are you alright? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I I don't want to shut down. Yeah, I feel you. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Okay. Let's go reassure some more peeps. Light some more fires, because apparently I'm the only one that has a lighter or inks to light a fire. I mean, according, y'all are clearly walking up towards the fire and are feeling the warmth. Y'all could just deactivate the, the cold module, you know, but whatever. Pick up. Raise our flag high. Powerful, very powerful. Very true. Damn, you don't, you don't say anything to that? This north? This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Regret's desperate. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Freedom fighters. It's always so like odd to see like an actor or an actress's face in a video game because it's like you've seen this person in real life and now you're like playing Marcus, as we them. Found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Prisoners equality. Let our people go.
check soldier's position. All right, I think this is the last stop. Oh, they're moving up. They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. He's a Don't go. dirty liar. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Except. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. few minutes the troops will be ordered to charge none of you will survive and it'll all be over you can avoid that Marcus what do you mean surrender surrender and I give you my word your life will be spared you'll be detained but none of you will be destroyed it's cap what happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. Wow. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. But they never even hurt humans. Like, I don't understand. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'm not surrendering shit. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Exactly. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. It's a damn shame what they're trying to do to my people, man. Ain't you injured, Marcus? What happened, Marcus? What did he say? <laughs> Today, I have Detroit become human. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Damn. It's so fucked. They're clear. They haven't even tried to hurt another human, and then their immediate response is just to destroy them all. But to be fair. I'm pretty sure this is what would happen in real life, like, you don't really know what the robots are capable of, and humans are scared, We're just, they're just trying to save their own skins. It's about time. I'm sorry we got held up. Did 
anybody see him? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. I wonder how often people illegally try to go to um, Canada like this. Don't worry about this. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. Look at that character development. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Damn. Character development. You love to see it. All right, who else is there to talk to? I guess I can talk to Rose now. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Damn, she's so caring. Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. I'll see you on the other side. Hey, Nullstree. What's going on, man? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> That's such a, a low uh, notification sound. I almost didn't hear that. What's going on, man? Thank you for the follow. Uh, what is it? Help Alice get on board. Where? What is this? Oh, examine. Danger temperature, dummy gold. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. Okay. Let's get in the dinghy. Or a rib? Is this a rib or a dinghy? Let me help you. Like the type of boat. Push boat. Luther, do you need help on the boat too? Big fella? Where's that man at? Oh, okay. Make it to Canada, baby. Am I really gonna have to do this every row? Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. Are we far enough out? What determines that? Is it just like so the engine doesn't get caught up on the ice? The following when keys. Get on the other side. There are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world and play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes, we can do it all. We'll be like oh, this is sounding too good to be true right now. Be anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life, a life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? Uh, 
Introspective. I'll learn to live. Ooh. To love. Find out who I really am. Great response. They're coming towards us! Oh my god. They're really just blasting? Huh? Accelerate. Surrender. Protect Alice. Use Luther. Plunge. Yeah, nah. Accelerate, bro. Pretty sure they got my boy Luther though. I know they did. I just know it. He's too damn big to be hiding on his boat. You alright? Oh no, they really did shoot her. You'll be okay, Alice. It's it's nothing. Tis but a flesh wound. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. They killed him. Damn. They killed Luther. You hate to see it, man. The boat is leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Accelerate. Come on. Come on. Reduce, push overboard. Reassure. I'm falling asleep. No, Alice, don't. It's the cold. It's making you sleepy. Stay with me, Alice. You've got to stay awake, you hear me? Okay, we're gonna remove that then. Then we still have like the, the rowing things. Reduce the boat's weight. Dump supply. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not getting rid of my boy, man. Still more. Use paddle. We can't die here. Not like this. We're so close. Not when we're so close. Put him overboard. There's gotta be some more options. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Fuck. I hope I don't die. Oh, no. Don't do that. Before freezing, I still got 50 seconds. Come on, 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 come on. Just damaged. They're just damaged for a little bit. We can, we can get, we can fix them. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. Quick time offense. Anything but this. Okay. 
I gotta stay focused, gotta lock in. I gotta lock in. Oh fuck, press one button immediately. Oh god. Bro, I'm an action hero. North, yeah. Show them that we have true emotions out here. Down. That's what it took. She live in a soap opera world, bro. That's what it takes. We we're clearly not a problem in the beginning. Like, yeah. this footage of two Meaning androids kissing as they are about to romantic die drama has moved the whole country. Are gotcha. a form of life that we didn't want to acknowledge? Are deviants capable of emotion? And if they feel emotions, must we now consider them as living beings in their own right? President Warren Damn. is said to have intervened personally. To I can't believe Connor got murked like that, bro. I, I soiled it. Of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts establish contact with the deviants and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life today our people finally emerged from a long night are those statues what are those from the very first day of our existence we have kept our pain to ourselves we suffer are those like people that haven't been given like a, a look yet like and the now androids. the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. Oh no. In fact, we're a nation. Oh no. A nation it's because that has I soiled right it. To live in freedom. Don't shoot. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. He's legit feeling cold right now. Connor, what are you doing? Obey, that's an order. I... I can't do that. I see. Moral objections. Is he gonna... We knew there was a, a risk you'd be event? compromised. Which is why we'd always planned on resuming control of your program. Resume control? You can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. You needn't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. No. You accomplished your mission. No. So is Deviant Connor here? And then, like... There's got to be a way. Okay, now I gotta find an escape route? What about that hand thing? Where is it? Emergency exit. Where's that thing that I can like press with my hands? Yes, yeah, over here. 
This has got to be like the fail safe. Connor, I'm sorry I let you down this whole entire game. But this is uh, the, the, redemp the redemption arc right here. The path to redemption. If I can do one thing right by you, Connor. It's the, oh god, quick time events. Yeah, we're cooked. Brother, what are these buttons? Enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow. Let's go. We must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Um, are those engines supposed to be moving around? Like, why are they just like standing there, not moving, and just like random? Is this a, a glitch in the matrix right here? Is it supposed to look like that? Probably not. So I guess I finally figured out what that little hand thing does. Detroit is like I've never been there. Have to hide anymore. We can be a family. I'm tired. Is she? No way. I love you, Mom. No way. After all this, I love you too. Keep living, huh? Keep living or give up? Excuse me. I ain't come this far to just give up. Really killed Luther and Alice, bro. This shit is so tragic. Oh. Was that Rose's cousin or like was that like the police? It looked like a civilian car, but I don't know. I hope that was like Rose's cousin. Oh, it's the first time I've seen the name of the game. Uh, is this the end? Okay. Written and directed by David Cage. What a game, man. Wow. The voice acting, the storytelling, the pacing, like amazing. What in a way amazing game. Like that was huh. insane. Absolutely insane. Good job to all who were behind making this game the the 
actors, the developers, the musicians, everything. Like this is absolutely fantastic. And it definitely got me like thinking that truly in the near future, androids are gonna be like, uh, you know, a point of conversation as to like whether or not they're gonna be considered alive or not, you know? Are they gonna have rights? If you're like bullying an android, will it ever try to retaliate, you know? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But, uh, that looks like that. Amazing characters. Amazing character development and everything. I really wish I could have done Connor better. Granted, at the end, he's still alive and was able to be a deviant, but like, I. Those quick. If there is any gripes I have with this game. It's the damn quick time events. Like, I don't know. Just leave it all on the mouse or something. Like, it's not to say that it's too hard. It's just like, I don't know. The, just the way my brain thinks about WASD is up, down, left, right. You know, like that's just, I don't think of it as W. I think of it as W is moving forward. So I always just think of it as an up arrow in my head. So it's just a little jarring. Um, but yeah, that was an amazing game, amazing experience. And like now I can't wait to like see when they start selling commercial androids like in real life, you know? I really wonder when that's gonna happen. I know 2025 Elon Musk is planning on selling, uh, was it the Atlas 2? Is that what they're called? Those androids that he like showed at the press conference that he held not too long ago, like a few days ago. But those are gonna be 20,000. These androids were like 899 or so 900. Like 20,000 is a hell of an asking price. So obviously that's gonna be like not a thing many people are gonna have. But once they start becoming more like mainstream, I truly wonder like how people are gonna start treating them, you know? Are they gonna be rude to it if they start losing their jobs? Who knows? But. No more quick time events, please. Amazing game. Horrible quick time events. May I uh, quit this? Marcus succeeded in making his soldiers finish the game once. Connor resisted hacking attempt from Cyberlife. Okay. Troy's one freedom for the moment. Prepare to shoot. Hank intervenes. Talk to Hank. Attack Hank. Hank wins and kills Connor. Cyberlife decided to send another Connor. Huh. I wonder if, like, I shot him. How would that work? Prepare to shoot. Hank intervenes. Hank doesn't intervene. I oh, don't know. I, I, I just messed Connor up so much. Oh. What is this? Battle for Detroit. What am I looking at? Connor at the Cyberlife Tower. What? Item in the military, Luther safe crossroads, security checkpoint, handover ID. Ooh. Hide from the military. Does anybody like not return the the keys? Handover ID, talk to guard. Guard approaches. At the bus terminal. Find Adam. Parents took the bus stop. Oh, I guess that's not even an option here. Wow, there's a whole nother storyline that could have happened over here, bro. Wow, I didn't see any of that. Get out of Rose's car. Check a river temperature. Talk to Rose, accelerate. How many people did this? Yeah, only 11%. 
House guard opens fire. Luther died. Alice is injured. Okay, well, I mean, she's not dead. Reach Canada on the boat. Alice damaged and shuts down. Alice died and Kara continued alone. Damn. Zero percent of the world got this. Uh, this is I'm the only one that f f fucked up this bad. Damn. Where did I go wrong? I'm the only one. Or maybe the stats are wrong. Because it's zero the whole way here. Yeah, whatever, bro. There's something I need to tell you. Oh? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. Like a deviant? I feel I am someone. Oh, shit. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. But not say that too loud. It means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. And that's all that matters. Do you agree to let me go? Yeah, for sure. Oh. Yeah, why not? Go for it. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Wow. What a game. Congrats. Congrats to everybody involved. Amazing. And thank you all for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, you might as well like and subscribe, please. It helps me out more than you know. Um, if you were here watching this live, Thank you for being here and if you're watching this on youtube uh tell me below like if you would buy an android like would you get one of these like especially with the knowledge like thinking that one day it might think that it's you know a sentient being and not want to be i guess your servant anymore how would you treat it would you be nice at a robot would you try to treat it like an equal probably not you bought it from the store to like do chores for you you know but I don't know. Just let me know how you would uh, handle this situation. If you bought a robot and it became a deviant, would you let it go? Would you take it back to the factory and be like, hey, yo, fix my boy? Me personally, <laughs> I'm getting that thing fixed, boy. I paid good money for you to clean these toilets, boy. Get, get to work. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, love you guys. Y'all have a good one and I'll catch y'all next time. Adios.